and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a flip through of Millie Marotta's Tropical Wonderland. Now this is the pocket edition. The original book was released quite some time ago so this is like a re-release but at a smaller size. As you can see this is my hand. I'm really quite into these uh, pocket size books at the moment because you know obviously they're quicker to colour. Um, so yeah I will get on with the flip. So obviously this is the cover, um, a smooth cover, can't really colour it in, but let's open it up. Now this is a double sided book unfortunately, I've got the copy right there. Um, so it's no alcohol markers, talking of alcohol markers, apologies for the uh, messy fingers. I've just been swatching a new set of alcohol markers that I've got. Um, if you want to see the swatch video of that I'll link that up in the corner but yeah I've just been doing a 60 set of markers prior to this video so I've made a bit of a mess. And we have quite a few pages here that are just an introduction and then we are into the actual colouring book pages. Now I've not actually checked, I probably should have done that if I was really efficient, but I'm not really efficient, I'm rubbish. Um, I assume that these images, we have all the same images as in the full size version of Tropical Wonderland and that they're probably in the same order, but I could not swear to it. So we have lots of birdies. Now Millie has a very distinctive style, if you're not familiar all of her pictures are a kind of zen tangly, zen doodly, I'm not sure how you would um, call it. But basically her animals, we'll see this, right, we can see it quite clearly on this spread here with our toucan and our, I don't know what he is, he's a little monkey, I don't know, a lemur thing, he's got a tail. So basically she makes up her animals of in this case flowers and leaves so it's up to you you can either ignore the sort of individual elements of it and then just color this as you would normal line art or you can color in the individual things to make the bigger picture um, I could believe it or not this is my first Millie Marotta book because I've always had this big debate with myself about whether I do actually like this style or not um, and then every time I think I talk myself out of buying a, one of her books, I see some of these poster picture that looks fantastic. I'm like, oh, I really should try that. This is just a bit of mandala -y. I suppose even if I don't do the pictures, I will. I'll try at least a couple to see if I like them. But I do like a mandala, so at least I've got that. We have ourselves some parrots and a leopard. We have a spread of butterflies. Obviously, being the smaller version of this book, we do have some um, quite tight details there. Might need, if you're uh, really sharp pencils or fine liners. Fish. just a wallpaper page really a wallpaper page of leaves that said I do enjoy colouring a nice leaf I'm weird that's a nice picture it's in the nest but the nest is full of flowers as well so yeah as I say I flip flop quite a lot about whether I actually like the imagery well I like the imagery but I'm just not sure if I like the zentangle elements to it but we'll give it a go because you know we can't say we don't like something unless you at least try it so we have a couple of elephants here I think they're just mirrored to be honest I think the same design is on it I, I do quite like images like this I don't know there's something quite attractive about it all the flowers within it even if it does look like it might be a lot of work. So that's just a wallpaper page. Moth. Birds. Sorry, 
you don't need me telling you what the animals are, do you? You can see what the animals are. So we've got uh, bugs. And that's a nice picture. It's a shame. See, if can... See the spine is quite tight as well. I'm, I don't know, we might be able to get it flat eventually. Um, but yeah, that goes across the spine, which is a bit of a shame. We just have some leaves. I'd probably use pages like that just to practice blending, or if I've got some new pencils, that'd be a good place to test them out on. Into our sea life there. So this is a bit of a, it looks like one of these ones that Kirby and Joanna Bassford as well had in their early books as well, which is where you draw in your own details. I don't really do that kind of thing to be honest but if you do there's one there hopefully it's just one because as I say I'm not really into that so we don't want too many of those I say we I I don't like them this is the first time I'm probably looking through this book which is why it's a bit creaky sorry if you can hear it creaking that's why it's literally only just getting its spine broken the paper is really good though, nice, nice weight to that paper, especially considering the size of the book, it's uh, yeah, nice butterfly, perhaps if I do one I might do that one first. some bit of a desert scene there because these are all cactuses aren't they oh I don't know I might do the elephant first now that I've seen him not a huge fan of the sea life ones myself but is that what's on the cover no I've seen that oh, I've seen that picture before perhaps it's on the cover of the big size book or something or one of our other books but I've definitely seen one of these um cranes but yeah I'm quite looking forward to trying this out because as I say I mean look that's the size of my hand a nice pocket sized book this for trying out um, without you know committing to a page that's going to take you a day to do I could just do oh, a little mom set okay no I'm is it a marmoset? What are they called? Maybe. Possibly. Or is it a possum? I don't know. It's cute. Whatever it is, it's cute. And the armadillo. So, alright. So now I'm on my third I might. Uh, sorry, I was a bit out of the camera there. Um, now I'm on my third I might do that one first. So for someone who says I wasn't that sure whether I wanted to buy a Millie Marotta book, I seem to be doing okay. So here we have the list of the creatures of um, the uh, images that we've got in the book. So if you do want to look up um, the originals, like and specifically as opposed to just being an owl, we have it as a screech owl. So if you want to get things um, realistic, as realistic as they can be when they're being made out of leaves and flowers, then you can look up all the... Oh, it'll tell me what that thing was. What was it? Uh... Bush baby, that was it. Okay, sorry, got a bit excited there. Um, but yeah, for once it was actually really um, useful. But yeah, you can look it all up. And then we've got, well, it says here, create your own tropical wonderland. So if you do want to do a bit of drawing, then you can. But really, that for me, that's just a place where I can test my pencils or um, fine liners to see if they bleed through. They do give you a place here, but you know, if that bleeds through, you wouldn't want to do your, your images there. And then we've got the back cover. So this is how thick the book is as well. Oh, let me turn you up that way. I know it doesn't make a difference, but just my OCD. Um, and that's my finger. So it's, you know, quite a decent book. I didn't count up how many there was, but I reckon, well, it's double-sided. So I think we're probably looking at something like 
at least 60 to 80 images probably I guess and um, this is available on Amazon I will leave links to it below I actually bought this in the UK in a shop called the works so if you're if you've got a branch of that close to you you might want to pop in because it was only three pounds but I think it was three pounds on Amazon anyway so I don't think it was particularly cheap to go to the works I just have to be passing by or it's a nice way to have a flick through the book before purchasing if you are not sure anyhow I hope you found this review useful well not review flip through I know words if you did give me a thumbs up I would really appreciate it and it helps the channel um, and if you're not subscribed then just you know hit the button and if you hit the bell then you will get a notification of any time I upload new videos thank you so much for watching I hope you have a great day take care and see you again soon bye for now bye